You've probably been seeing a ton of content about day passing these days on YouTube. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how to use the Amazon one, the free version, which you can use if you like, or the Scale Insights one. The difference between the two, show you what's better and give you the chance to pick what's best for your business. So let's jump straight into it. When setting this up on Amazon, it's quite simple to do. All you need to do is go into the individual campaign that you wanna set this up for, hit and budget rule, and once you're in, you'll be able to set it as you see fit. So you're gonna have two options, schedule your increase or performance increase. Performance increase is a lot easier of a way to do it. So, you know, go ahead and add, uh, I'd say a title like rule one, and you can say that if your ACOS hits a certain amount, say it's less than 30%, you can have that go in. And then on any day when your ACOS is less than 30%, your budget is gonna increase by whatever percentage you want. So say 100%, $10 campaign is gonna go up to $20. So quite simple to do, easy to replicate across your account if you wanna have these sort of metrics uh, across the board. You can also do this based on a per product basis. So if, if you have a product that you need to have a 20% ACOS, well, go ahead and set it at 20%. Or ROAS, click-through rate, I like to do things on conversion rates. So if you see that there's a high conversion rate day, then it's worth to set something up, say if your conversion rate hits say 40%, you know your ACOS is gonna be better, so you might as well spend more. And but on hitting those higher conversion rate days, maybe your budget's gonna be higher, like 300%. One thing to consider is that all these rules do stack. So don't go ahead and set up way too many rules that it's hard to keep track of on each campaign. Go ahead and set up one or two different rules that make sense for each product. And you know, if you want to schedule them on, that's also a way to do it. You can you can do it by sales events such as Black Friday, Christmas, New Year's. So that's quite handy if you want to have uh, budgets go up on those dates. Now to do it on the bid level, all you need to do is go into the settings page where you did the budget rules, scroll down to rule-based bidding, and go and add a rule schedule. So schedule rule. And from here, you can pick the date range. So if you only want to test it for a week, go ahead and add an end date. So add 22nd of November, for example. And you can go on and you can set certain dates to, to have this rule applied. So for example, if you want to have your, uh, your uplift in bids be applied on a Friday, go ahead and select a Friday. Um, you can even select times to say 4 a.m. Pacific time until... Uh, 9 a.m. Pacific time, you can do that. Uh, it's quite easy and, you know, your bid adjustment. So if you see that, you know, on a Friday, there's a lot more competition, you need to be showing it top of search. You can do this. You just need to put in the right criteria that fits your product and what you need, what you're looking to achieve, and you should be good to go. And of course, make sure and just add um, a name for it. Some use a naming structure that's easy for you to identify. If you go ahead and set up a ton of rules, then it's going to get a bit confusing. So make sure and name everything properly and just go ahead and add rule when you're complete. Now, I know Amazon's tools are getting better, but it still doesn't compete with Scale Insights. So let me show you why. On Scale Insights, if you go into the sales dashboard, which if you click on the sales tab here, um, and then go over to day passing trend, you'll be coming to this page. And this will show you your sales by hour, sales hour by product, day of the week sales, and day of the week sales by product. Very detailed, very easy to read. And I know this is the demo account, so ignore the dates, but it just gives you an idea on what you can expect if you hook this up to your uh, Amazon accounts. So you can see particular between you know, 10, 9 a.m. and uh, 12, it's pretty good as well as after six o'clock, there's a, there's a bit of a spike, or after four. So with this, you'll know exactly when to set up your day passing rules. When you go over here to automation, you can set that up quite easily. So you go into day parting rule, um, add, uh, you can you can set optimum hours, whatever is default in the, in the system, or you can go ahead and create your own. And you can set it by hour, set it by day of the week, very detailed, very easy to set up. Once that's done, you just go ahead and activate it to your ASIN and you're up and running. And from here, it's quite easy to just 
allocate things differently. So if you see on the, the ads inside page that you need to change the hours a bit, you can just go ahead and do it quite easy. On Amazon, you it's a little bit more tricky to do this and you know using something that's a bit more user friendly might be better for you and for your business. So and if you do want to sign up for Scale Insights, you want a discount, we have a discount code below. It's a 30 day free trial with a 10% off lifetime discount. So go ahead and use that. But I'm not doing that just as a promotion. It's something that we use uh, day to day with our clients. So if you need help with your Amazon PPC, you can contact us, kickstartppc.com. Links in the description below as well. Hopefully you found that useful and hopefully it allows you to make a, an easier decision when it comes to what day parting system you should be using. I still think that Scale Insights is the better option, but that's up to you if whether you want to be paying for a software or using the free version. So on there, Amazon is improving day by day, so it's only a matter of time before these features are on Amazon. But if you want to start it up now, Scale Insights is the obvious choice. So if you need more help with your Amazon PPC, you want to find out more information, stay up to date on everything, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We're uploading weekly videos on Amazon PPC and FBA related content. So you won't want to miss out what we've uploaded and what's up and coming. So until the next video, hope you guys have a good one and we'll see you soon. Bye.